Hopefully a moon or a little bit of cloud cover here is going to make a difference. Hopefully it seems that. like we're going to need a trigger, eh? Something. Wally? Nice tank! Hey guys, Glenn McDonald with 54 Bus, and today's kind of a continuation of last week's video where we talked about fishing on the moon phases, and today we're going to kind of elaborate on it by using confidence baits, and it kind of goes hand in hand with what we did last weekend. I showed you we used some bucktails when we come back at the top of our moon overhead major and we picked up a couple fish on back-to-back -back spots well the walleye that we caught at the little intro of the video i'm going to show that at the tail end of this video but we went into that spot earlier in the morning and i put on a suic because we knew that's a good spot and it has shallow rocks deep rocks and a steep steep breaking uh, line off of it and we raised a, a nice musky in the morning and then on the very next cast i hooked into that big walleye so we'll talk about that at the end but before that, I'm going to show a muskie that I caught a little bit further down the lake. And this is this one happened just as the moon overhead was starting. And we'll start that one and we'll do a little bit of commentary as we go. So stick around. Okay, so here we are. We had pulled up on the side of this island and we knew historically there's fish here all the time. So I'm casting off the deeper edge of it and there we, we hook in. We'll kind of let it play out, and then after the catch, I actually do some commentary. So I'm just going to let this kind of play out here as we go. And if you want to see what's coming next week, stick around to the end of the video, and we'll show you a highlight of what's coming next week as well. Okay, we just got one in the bag here. We've been seeing fish. We're pretty much right on our moon. We've seen the last three fish or four fish have been pretty active, taking swipes at bucktails. We just pulled up on an island and we know there's a deeper point here. So Dave's throwing a toad and I just put on this Harvey Javelin dive and rise. And I was just working it slow over the deep part of the break and it hit way out from the boat and we had to cut a couple hooks off of it. I'll grab the fish here. That's a little one, it's like a 36 inch or something. You can back up, Katie. It's okay. We'll get a quick pick and we'll throw them back. Okay. Okay, so after we got that one back in the water, now we kind of pick up where last week's video kind of pulls in. We ended up heading back, kind of backtracking on the lake, and we went to spots where we had raised fish earlier in the day, and that was the two fish from last week's video. And if you haven't seen that, I'll put the link up right here, and you guys will be able to uh, kind of check that one out as well. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Here we are, field. a little bit out of sequence, but That's this was earlier in the morning sandwich. when we had raised some fish on some spots, and I believe this cast here, I believe we uh, have uh, a muskie decent. coming in following a suet. Yep, so you can see him roll off the side there, and we had actually raised like two color on like this spot, and when we come back later in the day, we were able to pick up one of them, and my very next cast here, I cast oh, out yeah. almost the same yeah, spot as the, the previous cast. And I just start like we're gonna pumping it in here, normal suet, kind of move. I do slow, slow, short little hops. And this walleye hits actually real close to the boat here. Holy Wally? Walleye. Nice tank. Right away, we both knew it was a big walleye. It had that suet T-boned in its mouth and we don't take big walleye for granted like that. We try to do our best to get it in the net and make sure we get the hooks out as soon as we can. And we treat it with the utmost care, like we would a muskie. 
but we usually get pretty excited when we catch these big walleyes like this too. So I ended up catching it on a custom painted high impact suic and it was just a pattern that we picked on a whim. There it is right there. It's kind of a 80s leopard print neon. Just we're having some fun with it. Okay, so we just got this big walleye on a suic and because this is probably close to my biggest walleye, we're going to bump them. Look at that. 29 and a bit. 29 and a half. It's got 29 and a half. Go hey, back out, Tato. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, a little bit, Clark. Perfect. Splash that puppy. Thanks, bud. Again, the big takeaway from today's video is kind of part two of last week's video. But it's fishing on your moon. We knew we had that moon overhead major coming and we, we just kept sticking with it and using confidence baits. And for us, a suic or a dive and rise, very similar to that Harvey Javelin that we were using, which was my first time ever using that bait. But knowing the action of it, knowing where the fish are historical from having logs always pays off. And just going into those key times of a day, knowing that you have confidence baits, you're going to put some fish in the boat. So if you guys like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment or a question down below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. And stick around because we're going to show a quick clip of next week's video coming right up. And if you want to check out some Suic Dive and Rise stuff, click the link right below here. And for a quick peek at next week's video, check there this out. And oh. until next time, we'll see you out on the water. 54 bust. Adam.